Thomas. Yes, sir. You're 72 years old. That's right. Homeless. Yep. In San Diego. Yep, it was in L.A. before here, even. Yeah. And you um, were telling me you were in a shelter? Yes, I was in a shelter for a while. And you'd rather be out here? I'd rather. You couldn't pay me to go back in the shelter. I mean, they didn't, the heat. They didn't allow heat in there. It was just like a, a, a ever freeze. You know, they think oh, they so were, you were in at the winter time. Yeah, it, it was cold outside, and it seemed like colder inside the shelter. I was getting sick every month. I was rushing me to the hospital. Some kind of virus. They couldn't even figure it out. But I kind of figured out the black mold all over the shelter. Yeah, and uh, that's all I can figure out. But. The doctor said they couldn't figure out what the virus I had for a while, but I've gotten over it since I've been here on the streets, not enclosed in some environmental tent. Yeah. Well, there's more seniors out here. There sure are. That's that we got money, and they're trying to put us into places that they're the rat infested almost. Yeah. And, and they just want our money. Yeah. Where people with no money are getting brand new mm -hmm. units, like yeah. what Rachel got and, and several other people I know. They've got no income at all, and, and they're getting better places. Yeah. And you, you, have, know, I got, so you have Social Security. I got Social Security. I but it's money. not enough for rent. No, they disqualified me because I pay $50 child support. I said, what? So you paid fifty dollars child support, and it disqualifies you yeah. from using your social security. Yeah. To get off the street. It was that Golden Western Hotel over here. They wanted six hundred a month, and, and because I pay, I, they say you got to be making twelve fifty a month. Well, I make twelve fifty, but because of the fifty dollars I paid to child support. They said that disqualified me because oh I'm only getting 12. I'm not getting 12. But, but even with 12, yeah. you still have to have food. You know, housing authority even called them and say, what is this, you know? Yeah. Well, you see, at 12, even with 12, after rent, you still have food and bus and cell phone and, oh. you know, it's not enough to and, live and on. That's the problem. I got a storage unit. I'm paying $400 a month. You know, oh. And that only leaves me 800 a month. So, right. And then they got the place where they can put you in a place with somebody else in the room, and you both got to pay 800 a month. I said, what? That, oh, that ain't fair. It's just a one room and two people got to pay 800 a month. But it's got to be hard for you being out here. Oh, yes, financially. Uh, it's easier out here than trying to get a shelter or or being in a, a little uh, hotel that they're trying to put us in and try to get a third of our wages. Right. And then you're not left with any money. That's about right. But if you were placed in a nice unit... Yeah, then... like a, some of them are getting a year's free rent before they have to even pay anything. Yeah. I'm saying, what? I don't got So nobody. you would go inside if it was a nice place. Oh, and yeah. And get a little extra. Because you got to have a couple hundred dollars every month to spend. At least. You're right. Yeah. So how do you survive out here? I mean, you know, there's <laughs> no bathrooms. There's no showers. Well, I have, I have, I have my porta potty and... Father Joe's has a shower. You shower from seven to ten in the morning every day, so that's that's no problem. And my bathroom, like I said, I have my porta potty. I use yeah, but that. it's at seventy-two. Your porta potty is a bucket, right? No, I got a conventional one that I bought from Home Depot. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, so you got a, a, a honey bucket. You got a, a yeah. nice, nicer nicer bucket. Matter of fact, I caught it the Auto Zone. <laughs> it's an Auto Zone bucket. The Auto Zone <laughs> bucket. I got a catchy little seat that goes right on top of it. Ah. It's got arm rails and everything. Yeah. <laughs> but like I said, the refrigerator is the only problem. Uh, other than yeah, we just buy as we need it. So milk is the everyday thing. 
run down to yeah, the Yeah, because deck. you don't have refrigeration. That's right. It makes and it hard. And anything else, we just drink it room temperature. So well, how's your health at 72? Well, I have a nice big eight-man tent, and I'm the only man in it. So I have a luxury bed that's a full size, queen size for Inside? a king. Inside? Queen size for a king. Well, I've seen your tent. It's not, I mean, I mean, yes. No, I get it. You're, I even painted flowers on it to make it even right. look Right, you're making the best of a bad situation, but it's still homeless. It sure is. But and I got neighbors that are more closer now. I know, you guys are really <laughs> tight. And your brother, while well, your brother's in a shelter. Oh, well, yeah, he comes out and you know, watches over my tent while I have errands to do. Yeah. So, that's a luxury I have as my brother anymore. Yeah. Other than that, it's just Rachel and I. Yeah. <laughs> Taking care of yourself. Yep. We if you had, if you had three wishes, what would they be? Three. Well, right off the top, we best wish for a million dollars. Okay. And that'll probably handle the other two. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you very much for your interview.